Fulani headsmen got arrested with guns along Nigeria border with Niger. My dear, this is what is going on. They are just flocking in, immigration doing nothing about it, not securing the border. I tell you what, between the US and Canada is a border, but you don't just go in anyhow. In fact, that border is greatly and seriously secured. Are there other means of trying to get into Canada or through US or US through Canada? Of course there are, but it's not that easy because you know that uh, it's a serious threat to your life because there are security operatives on ground. In Nigeria, you feel so much like the custom officers cannot be bothered. They just allow the border to be open, yet they get their salaries paid on the back of taxpayers. Is this how we are going to remain as a country? Look at the number of them. Now, these are the ones that have been apprehended that you are aware, aware of. What about others that have slipped into Nigeria unaware and causing trouble here and there? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Fulani headsmen got arrested with guns along the Nigerian border with Niji. It was gathered that two among them were female with babies not less than a year. They also found out that they were on the journey into Nigeria to their relative who have invited them to come when they were apprehended. According to the police, they have not confessed about committing any crime yet, but currently in the custody for proper investigation. However, using of unlawful arms is a punishable crime in both countries whether Nigeria or the Niger Republic. It can be recalled that Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari ordered elimination of anyone caught with illegal firearms. Our security operatives in the border region have been very vigilant on duty since this call and order has been made to stop smuggling in of weapons. This will assist in tracking the rate of insecurity and terrorism going on currently in Nigeria for the betterment and future of our children and for the country. These people were apprehended with weapons coming into Nigeria and they said they've been invited by their, relate, by their relations. Family relations who are now already in Nigeria have come in some time ago, have been established and have asked, has asked them to come that um, there is greener pasture here. They should flock in. So this is what is happening. How did those relations come with nobody knowing about them? How did they get in? Successfully, they came in, they passed through, there was no hindrance. Uh, today, they are part of those committing atrocity, asking for ransom, because by the time they change the Naira to their currency, it's big money. Can you imagine what is going on? And so they have nothing, it's like, a, I mean, they have nothing in affiliation with Nigeria, yet they come to the country to cause untold suffering and hardship. And I mean, how can we really, what can we really say to this matter? What is really going on in the country? Is this acceptable? Is this the way life has become? Where they just come into the country and listen, they said they came in, that they were invited by their family members. And when they come in, there is no respect for, for life or anything. They come in, they commit crimes. And those back home, if you say anything, they will say, yes, they are full of needs. Everybody has right to stay everywhere. Where are they going to stay? So they can just come into Nigeria, no passport, nothing. They just flock in as they as they want or that just as they choose it, and they and they are coming with arms. Look at the table, you can see AK-47. And look at them looking so frail and fragile, like they cannot hurt a fly. Yet they carry these dangerous weapons along with them. You know? And thank God, because you know, recently Buhari, you know, Fulani headsmen have started saying that they have something to do with Buhari. And Nigerians are beginning to raise eyebrow. Have issued a statement saying anyone caught with weapon should be shot aside. And as I mean, he called the 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 chief of uh, customs and says they should secure the border. So what will he take? What will he take? You know, this prince administration to do the right thing. If you know that was the right thing to do, what were you waiting for up until this moment? For the numbers of persons that have died, the numbers of women that have become widow. The numbers of children that have become orphans. The number of lives that have been shattered. 
as a result of poor performance in office, not taking upon you the duty, your duty to ensure that there is safety in the country. It's so, I mean, it's better late than never, so they say. However, this country would have been much more better if we have the right and correct people in position. The people presently we have in position do not understand the, the basic fundamental ABC of leadership, so to say. They don't even, I don't think they have a clue what is currently going on in the country. They just go about their business as if, you know, I mean, no, they can't be bothered. But that's not, a, that's not the way a country thrive or prosper. That's not the way a country will be able to get ahead and become great. No, a country will never succeed in that way or manner. It can only succeed when we have true, sincere, dedicated people who are ready to work and ensure that the country gets, you know, gets on track. What will it take the president to give a, a, an executive order? What will it take the president? We now have a president that is not respected, whose words mean nothing. Why? Over and over again, he has constantly shown that he cannot be trusted. In fact, people, you know, there are some sets allegedly saying that, in fact, he's not the one there, that what we have today is an imposter. So, I mean, people are, I mean, they, they, they can't be bothered. They are like, uh, if it's an imposter, why, why trouble myself? So this is the state where we've come to find ourselves. And as a people, we all need to stand up together as one and do not allow ourselves to be manipulated by this set of people who call themselves government. Now see the set of people that has been caught. Look at the set of people that have been appreh apprehended, trying to come into Nigeria, saying that they were invited by their, by their relations who are already in Nigeria. Their relations are already in Nigeria and has told them to come, that there are greener pastures in Nigeria. And if you speak... You know, because there's no distinction, they, don't, they can't even differentiate between the ones back at home and the ones who are coming into the country to cause trouble. You speak, my ATLA will stand up and say, eh, eh, they are Fulanese and the Fulanese. Guess what? These are the same people that the federal government invited into the country to vote for them in 2015. Now they find it very difficult to get rid of them because you want to use and dump them. They says, no, we have to stay. And also, they said the president promised them something, and now he wants to go back on his word. No way. They will stay. So that's why they are doing what they are doing. And immediately began to confess and to speak. President Muhammadu Buhari quickly said, you know what? Um, do this, do that. No flying zone in Zamfara. Black, what he should have done years ago. My dear, leave us a comment. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.